What's up everyone? All right, I'm back with another video. Now this one is going to be how to set up an altar. So a basic altar 101. All right, so in your spiritual practice or when you start to feel like you are ready, right? To create an altar space for yourself, right? That is true to your identity. That is um, true to like your spiritual path, your beliefs and what resonates with you, you're going to want to start an altar. So these are just a few items that are necessary for you to utilize um, when building your first altar, right? And then as time goes on, right, it will grow more or less, depending on how much you want to add to it, depending on how much you enhance your spiritual practice. So we're going to start now. So first, you should have a place for your altar. So I'm going to use this tray, right, to symbolize a location. So you can use, you need a stable surface. So make sure you use like a table, a desk, um, a dresser, right? Something, a place, something that is stable so that it's not rocky, doesn't shake, because your altar is where you're going to have, you know, um, certain items that if the stable surface just continues to move, um, and there's potential for anything to fall, something would break. So rule number one, make sure your surface that you're going to have your altar on is stable. Then get yourself either a fabric layer to throw over it, right? You can use any color you feel. Most people will say choose white for your altars. Um, you, it, whatever really resonates for you, it doesn't specifically have to be white. If someone's telling you white, it's probably because their specific practice calls for it to be white. You go with what feels necessary to you. I mean, there's four seasons, right, in the year. So I personally don't mind changing my, my altar cloth at least four times a year. You know, whatever is calling to me, whatever colors are inspiring me, go with it. So like, let's use this for an example, right? We have some neon yellow, some white, and there's some navy. I'm not sure if you can see that. Then for your main items on the altar, you want to have a stable surface, kind of like stone, ceramic, something heat proof, right? Where you can place your items on. So you're going to need, right? Always a glass cup, any size you like, right? It can be any style. But this is to hold the element of water, right? Because water is a portal, right? You will speak words into water. Water is living energy. So you need a cup for water. Then you're going to need a candle, right? So you can choose any size candle you like, depending on if your space is big enough or large enough. But let's just say you have a very small space, like a small table. Um, go with a miniature size candle. This is one that I make, right? And this is like three times the size of a tea light candle, right? This one burns for like 20 hours. Then you're going to need, right? But this represents the element of fire. So now we have the element of water and the element of fire. The next item you're gonna need, right? I like this one because it's actually like a two in one. One, it's a charm, right? Hamsa, so the evil eye protector. And it's going to be the incense holder. So you can use incense sticks, right? You can use Palo Santo, sage. You can use rosemary bundles. Um, you can be super creative, but I'm just gonna show you some of the classic ones. And let's see, this one might be a little bit too large for the holder. Okay, well, I'm gonna place that there for now. So you have the element of air with the incense. And then you would want to get yourself some crystals, right? I actually prefer crystals for the element of earth, right? And crystals are angelic, right? They contain energy. There's many properties to them. Clear quartz is a great one to start off with. You can use tiger eye, right? For grounding and protection. And then you can use amethyst. I don't know if you can see, very small. But you can use amethyst, right? To enhance your psychic abilities, right? Tap into your third eye and crown chakra. I'm gonna center those. And then depending on what your spiritual practice is, you wanna get like, you wanna have a book, right? Like either a grimoire, um, a, 
spell book, a book with prayers or affirmations. Uh, you can use like the Tehran, you can use the Bible, whatever you want. I have one of these miniature Bibles that I got from a dollar store, um, just so that I can show you. So just a book that will have like your prayers and your affirmations in there. So now you have all four elements represented, right? We have water. And make sure you use a glass cup, right? Or a ceramic cup, but not plastic. You want it to be natural. So we have the element of water. We have the element of fire with the candle. The element of air with the incense. We have the element of earth, right? With the crystals. And then you have a booklet, right? With your prayers, your affirmations. I mean, with the Bible, obviously you know the Psalms are in there those are prayers those are spells to utilize for many different things but you can use any spiritual book that you feel um resonates with your spiritual practice so this is a basic like what you need to start your first altar all right guys um thank you for joining me for this video and sticking to the end remember to like share comment and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when i release all new videos thank you all very much and until next time, rise with Ra.